Let's be honest. For many of us, RPA or robotic process automation has been more about tasks than about processes. I mean, we've automated stuff. We've made improvements in businesses, in departments, and to individual employees. But what we've automated has mostly been these relatively small units of repetitive work, as we call them, with clear boundaries. We start here, we finish there, and that's it. Lots of, let's call it small stuff. But of course, with enough volume, there's still value in that. But what about the true business processes? Isn't it time we took a look at the bigger picture instead of just the tiny pieces in the puzzle? I say yes, and I'm not alone. And with a new tool set and a new mindset, we can do that. Welcome to UiPath with Jeppe, away from keyboard. So I've seen quite a few posts lately on LinkedIn saying that RPA is dead. But first of all, I sure hope not. And second, I don't think so. I'll agree that automation is changing. And in my previous two videos, I did talk about and demonstrate UiPath agents. And agents are great, but they're only one part of the solution. Because yes, agents can often do elevate automation and RPA to a whole new level, but they don't fundamentally change what I said a minute ago, that often we automate this, and then we automate that, and then we automate something over here. Still creating a lot of value, whether it's an agent or RPA bot, but still often done in silos, and they're disconnected from a larger context. And business is all about context. It's not just individual tasks that live in a chaos. It might appear that way, but all businesses have processes. Some are formalized and some not so much. But we do one thing first and then we do something else and so on. But that is not the same as those processes being super efficient. And if we want to improve processes, a good place to start is to get that bigger picture, to zoom out, to map the process so we know with certainty, with certainty, what happens and when and how and why. And many RPA developers have actually been doing this for years to avoid, as we say, automating stupid. But a lot of times documentation has been done in Visio, and that diagram has then been stuck inside a Word document, stuck inside a folder, stuck inside a network share, never to be seen or heard from again. And sometimes processes are simple, so that's okay. But other processes, they'll jump between people, departments, systems, approvals uh, are needed, manual steps are taken, exceptions happen. And... A lot of things can happen to complicate things, and then you need the documentation, the, the transparency, and the clarity. So for a lot of organizations, RPA or automation has been stuck in that lower task layer because the ability to effectively and visually orchestrate business processes has simply not been offered in traditional RPA products, and UiPath is just one of them. Sure, in UiPath, we had the long-running workflow template in UiPath Studio, but we need more than just a template. We need great monitoring. We need good connectivity to external systems. We need the ability to nudge a process that may be stuck somewhere, maybe even repair the agent that is part of a process while it's running, and so many other things. And this is the promise of some new products from UiPath. UiPath Maestro and a new type of project called the Agentic Process. And this makes me really want to grab my keyboard, but that'll be another video. So maybe you should subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll show some of that stuff soon. Anyways, the tools will give you the ability to fully diagram the overall business process using BPMN tools as you've maybe done before. But now being able to connect elements in the diagrams to automations, to agents, to data, even to external systems. And this connection between process design and the real world means that we can watch inside UiPath the processes as they run. And that's whether they run for 20 seconds or six hours or three months, just like the processes we know order to cash or procure to pay, all the usual suspects. Processes that run for a long time in the real world, they run for a long time in Maestro because if done right, Maestro is just a mirror of what's happening all around us. It's basically a centralized access to the processes that live inside our companies with lots of historical runtime data and statistics to help us improve on what we thought already ran smoothly, but maybe didn't. This vision of transparent and agentic automation from the somewhat ordinary RPA bots to intelligent agents and the full process orchestration is what UiPath themselves have dubbed Act 2 of UiPath. These new products signal that UiPath is leaning fully into that vision, and it's a shift that also shows up in how the platform is licensed. From November 1st, all new UiPath customers must use what's called the unified licensing model. This unlocks the full power of that platform and it lets you move from that lower task-based layer to building 
advanced agents and orchestrating full business processes. You get the whole automation food pyramid. Yes, with the healthy necessary stuff at the bottom, but also with the more exciting layers on top. It's not free and it's not necessarily for everyone, but for those with an appetite for a bigger bite, it's a very tempting menu. So enough about food. Anyways, to myself and to other developers out there who are afraid that RPA is dying, I say this and I say it in large, friendly letters. Don't panic. Yes, the automation game is changing and going forward. Good orchestration is going to add a ton of value to the automations we already have, almost being as important, if not more, as the automations themselves, but we still need to build those automations. So follow me on LinkedIn or on YouTube for more UiPath with Yeba, both away from and at the keyboard. Thanks for watching.